Okay everyone, by um, request I am showing you how to make the labels that I put on my jars. So um, I'm going to start off from scratch and we're going to go to um, Microsoft Word. That's the um, Word program that I use. And um, we're just going to open a file or a new. I don't know if you can see that. I just went to new. <clears throat> and then we are going to go to find labels which is right here so we're just going to use I mean it doesn't really matter what kind of labels you use as long as you are happy with it um, I like to use sort of like these ones, so let's open it. And if you don't like the, the borders or anything, you can choose a different label that doesn't have any borders, or you can simply delete it. So, um... You'll, you only need one text box so you can delete the other one and well, if it won't let you delete it just leave it alone because it won't show up anyway now when the little bar let me see if you can you know your um, basics with uh, Microsoft Word you know that this little crossbar with the arrows highlights the whole thing so when you go up to um, change the font which we will be using the papyrus font it changes all of it and along with the size you could see what size you want <clears throat> um, we'll go with I'm looking at just the one word over here because that's what you'll be um, needing. This one. And we are going to do black. Unless you want a different color. And you could just delete it and put your um herb that you want. Okay, so if you want it bigger, you can just move it out like that, that way. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> that way it just moves out to the whole thing. Kind of center that until it looks good. So then you'll just go and do all of these and just keep going until you're done making your labels. Print them out and, and on um, parchment looking paper or parchment paper, whichever you prefer. Um, so now I will show you what it looks like. So I'll be right back. Alright, so for these um, ones, I decided to leave this on there because um, I liked the look of it. <laughs> so basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab um, a corner punch that you like. And this is just from Michael's. And I used my 40% off to get this. So, um, it wasn't that expensive. If you don't have a corner punch, you can skip this this part. Otherwise, um, go buy a corner punch. So, you'll just go and do all four corners, like so.
And then if you watch my um, my book baking video, you'll know how to do the um, ink distressing part. But for those of you who haven't, we'll go ahead and do that. So this is called a distressing tool. <laughs> And they come with these little foam end pieces right here. And um, these are called Distress Inks. And these are Tim Holtz Distress Inks. You can use regular brown ink if you want to. But I prefer these Distress Inks. Um, you're going to be using Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz. So what you do is you take your part that you have colored brown or that you've used previously with brown um, and I just take them off and switch whenever I'm using a different color and just go around the edges like that no burning tool required to get this antique look like so and that's it. It's pretty easy. And you can do it, you can just stress it as much as you want. Okay, so I hope you um, enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and blessed be. Bye bye. Oh, one more thing um, I forgot to mention is how to stick them onto the bottles. Because um, tape will not work. Um, I've tried a couple different methods, but the best way that worked for me was using this um, Aline's Tacky Glue. Um, fast drying because I'm impatient, and it's for all-purpose um, craft glue. You can get this at Walmart um, for a in really inexpensive um, price. So this is what I would recommend for you to glue um, it onto your bottle. So. That's one thing right there. And uh, thank you again, and blessed be.